seats right here. Oh, girl, I was damn near barking in that restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I am so bad. Like, <laughs> why was I staring at you? You want to go find out? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what'd you say? Uh, <laughs> babe, come here! Babe. I want you to meet someone. <laughs> I've like never done this before, but um, like it's in my channel. <laughs> So, you know, people want to be like a basic bitch, but like me, I got three different items. Okay, for Papa's that I haven't tried before. Okay, I have, I've, I've had two things. That, actually, three things. I haven't had the lemonade before, mm. this biscuit, mm. or the sandwich before, so I have three things as well. Yeah. So, I got the blackened chicken sandwich. Didn't get cheese on it because I'm lactose intolerant. Um, I got some ghost pepper wings. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> And I got some fries. So what I have, I have this bacon and cheese chicken sandwich. I have this strawberry biscuit with some glaze on it. She melted a little bit, but that's okay. And then I have this, um, what does it say? Strawberry and mango lemonade. I don't know if it's focusing. And then I have uh, mashed potatoes and chicken. But yeah, I'm really excited to try out my ghost pepper wings. Are you excited to try one out? You know, you can try it out later and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna try one. <laughs> and I think it's gonna be good. I'm just gonna get a couple fries first. Yeah, I'm trying not to blow chunks tonight, <laughs> so, you know. What's your opinion on, um, what's your standpoint on relationships? That's a, that's a pretty vague question. Okay, what do you mean? Okay, but, but like, regarding what? Like, do you think a relationship is a necessity? I'll say when it comes to just strictly having someone to claim, no, that that is not necessary. But at the end of the day, like, we're all human beings who have certain needs that need to be met. So it's like, a lot of the convenience that comes with a relationship allows a lot of your needs to be met solely by one person. So it's like, all right, we want to be sexually satisfied. We want to be emotionally seen and validated and appreciated. We want all of these different things. And oftentimes a relationship tends to like have all those in one thing. But I feel like, to be honest, you could have multiple, multiple people, not even just like in a romantic context, but like a lot of your friends are there for you mm -hmm. um, in certain ways that can like satisfy those like emotional requirements, or you have, you know, sneaky links to people that you can like hook up with, da 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 da. So I would say like a relationship in and of itself is not necessarily necessary, especially if it's not healthy. But a lot of times it's like, it is very convenient and very fulfilling if you have someone that can provide you with all of these things in one as opposed to having to go to multiple people. I think that's what it is. Like, I feel like, I don't want to say I don't think relationships necessity, but just like having a sense of like- I'm so sorry, this, I'm so sorry. Was it good? Is it good? Because we're trying new things. <laughs> so I was like, oh. What'd you get again? Oh, uh, she ate down. She ate down. I got the strawberry and mango lemonade. Mm, mm. I'm sorry, that made my poochie purple. I'll <laughs> tell you. But I feel like growing up, I've always been so used to relationships. I feel like they've talked about that too. Like, mm. It's like growing up, you start developing like this image on how relationships should and should not be mm. until you actually get older and then you get into those relationships. And sometimes that image you painted in your head about relationships isn't exactly how it probably should have been. Mm -hmm. 
after a couple gets a little hot. Mm -hmm. A couple, a couple. One won't hurt you. You know. She sneak. <laughs> you want me to? You want to try one so bad? You want to try one so bad? I feel like I crave a lot from like somebody that is my significant other. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that's not always necessary. You can find those type of things and like friendly ways, like you said, like in friendships and relationships and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So like I've always been into relationships. Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah, like once you like are so used to having something, to all of a sudden be without it, I think that's the hard part. Yeah. But you have a lot of people like me. I've gone my whole life without being in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So like I'm, and I won't even say like painfully aware, but it's just like I've had to go so long without being in a relationship, or I have gone. So I won't say had to because it's not that big of a deal. But yeah. I've been a long, I've been on this earth, never having been in a relationship. And I've been fine my entire life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's how I know it's not a necessity because like, I haven't died mm -hmm. from lack of being in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, there are, there are things that like relationships can help you with. It's like, all right, you have someone there that can like, you know, carry a little bit of the weight mm -hmm. and can be there for you when you need to talk about something. But like, again, like you have friends with that. Um, don't f***ing piss me off today because you already did. Act like you got some damn sense. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You know what? I actually, if you're listening, if you're watching this YouTube video, I'm sick. I'm sick and sick of the storage notifications. I had about 45 gigabytes left, but you want to cut my video short. Now, when I come to this Apple store, it's up. It's up like Chuck. Get my rants. So who's already in here? Mm. Okay, so what are some of your red flags? In a relationship. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down the line, but I feel like I'll like explain it each each like each one of them I talk about. Yeah. So I hate friendly ass person. I hate a narcissistic. Yeah, girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> hate, 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 hate someone that's not considerate of others. <laughs> hate, oh, hate, 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 hate. You're hearing me today. <laughs> I hate someone that's just so inconsiderate. I hate someone that's just like actually dumb like and I, I say that and, and it sounds so mean <laughs> but you're, a fucking you're, you're actually i feel like when it comes to situations and i have to like walk you through certain things and it's kind of like two plus two you are you should already know. <sighs> and you're like i feel like some people think like sometimes being dumb is cute like no like that's really a way to piss me off because i'll really make you feel dumb you know what i mean i'm i'm using the bathroom oh you want me to close the door yes <laughs> yes i want you to close the door yes yes please or or um, can you give me a water? You thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I'm about to pour this water on your face. Oh my, uh. <laughs> That's why I asked. I'm about to shove this bottle off my ass. <laughs> I hate someone that's very persistent. Persistent and like asking me what am I doing like every five minutes. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing you asked me five minutes ago. <laughs> I'm doing the exact same thing at that. So I feel like when it comes to that, Hate, hate, hate being asked that. Okay, so, because I feel like it kind of threw me off guard. Uh, it caught me off guard when you said it. I hate a friendly ass nigga. I, I, I really need you to elaborate on that because you don't want your man to be friendly. I feel like, let's say, let's say, okay, boom, boom, we at a club, right? You know, you know, oh, like, I'm about to be like, oh, like, I'm about to go get, get a drink with, with, with my people, right? And like, you post it up. And so, like, they, you know, you just chilling. And like, I see somebody kind of approach you, like, who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> what you say? <laughs> but no, that's no, that's me talking about that. I like it in that sense. But like a friendly ass nigga is like, oh, like talking, talk, talking in everybody else's face. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like you look good today. You look really good. Okay. Every other bitch around here telling that. <laughs> everybody else is telling that. You don't need to tell him that. No, 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 Okay. <laughs> I, I feel like I like a, I like a, like a, you know what I mean? Like. Let's say like we we chilling or something like that. And like let's say like you 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 at the bar with your people, I'm at the bar with my people, you know what I'm saying? And like you just watch me, but you watch me see somebody go do something slick. <laughs> I'm like saying like this, and let somebody come up and now you walking over here. <laughs> oh, you talking to somebody? Yeah. <laughs> Where? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking at us. You right see now. the black shirt right there? Yeah. <laughs> Babe, come here! Babe. I hate that much to meet someone. <laughs> oh, it's not me. Okay. And this was great. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, no. What was your name again? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I am so bad. Like, <laughs> why was I staring at you? You want to go find out? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you go ask me? Why don't you go ask me?
I'm gonna get hey, hey, hey. <sighs> See, and that's how I know we're like two completely. <laughs> we really are. So the I'm the opposite. <laughs> because if I'm if I'm trying to go to the bar with my friends or grab a drink and my man over there on the other side of the room, talk to somebody. Oh. Go, do something, please. <laughs> you stare me down like a hog. Get some bitches. Like please. Like talk to somebody else. <laughs> okay, you worried about me. I got eyes in the back of my head. I feel ugh. I hate so I feel like that's what my red likes. <laughs> I think that's like too focused on me, okay? Because I hate a nonchalant or not, not nonchalant. But I hate a nigga that's like nice to me but means to everybody mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. I hate that. I hate that bad. You know what I'm saying? Because that means that when we're not in a relationship, you're not gonna be nice to me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, <laughs> I'm heavy on you gonna talk to me nice. <laughs> heavy on it. Heavy on it. I don't give a damn if we're in a relationship or not. If we're talking or not, you're gonna be nice to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I'm saying? We out and about. Like I told you before. I told you before. Same friends, we out about same scenario, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm kicking with somebody, and now it was like you barking at them, you getting a hostile, and I'm over here positive. Sorry, he's just mm -hmm. he gets like ew. <laughs> <laughs> Be normal, kiki with me. You know what I'm saying? The fuck is you getting all animalistic for at the club? I was bored, so I ruined lunch purposely, and I had fun doing it. You know what I'm saying? Or <laughs> well, I'm really nice to my man. Okay. Good thing I'm not your man. Okay. I won't be your man. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Like, uh, that just is so unattractive because one thing about me, like, I kiki too much for my man to not also be on that same wavelength. But you don't have to be as talkative or extroverted as me. Mm. But I need you to be comfortable with conversation. I need you to be comfortable with, you know what I'm saying, kiki with people. And like, I'm, because I'm very like, when I see somebody, I'm like, oh, hell, if you give me good energy, I'm going to give you good energy right on back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just want to have a good connection, all right? So if you are over here, you know what I'm saying, erging it up in the corner, mm -hmm. growling under your breath and shit, <laughs> that's so not cute to me. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Lack of self-awareness. Someone who can't, like, step outside of themselves. Like, they're so focused on, like, oh, this is what I want. This is what I need. This is where I'm coming from. That you won't take the time to, like, actually recognize what you're doing. Mm. You hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Cause like I get like, your feelings are valid in this moment, but if you can't, if you're so blindsided about how you feel that you can't be like, oh wait, no, like I feel like I was, I was upset because it kind of triggered this thing inside of me. If you can't acknowledge stuff like that, then that's what I have a problem with. Mm -hmm. Poor communication skills that go in the same type of bracket. Mm -hmm. We talking, and I know that you're upset by something because you're being really short with Ooh. me, and you got an attitude, and I'm checking on you, and I'm like, hey, you good? I'm fine. I'm good. None of your business. None of your business. You don't know my business. I don't tell you my business because you talk too much. I'm just saying I do. Okay. Because I like your talk. Because <laughs> the way you said that, let me know. Because first of all, I'm not stupid. I read energy so well. Mm. So you just sit here lying to my fucking face at this point. And it's fine if you don't feel like talking about it. I always respect people establishing boundaries. If you're someone who, who, who does not know how to... Um, fully express how you feel in, in the heat of the moment and you need a minute, communicate that. Mm -hmm. You spill water on yourself and you feel embarrassed, so now you can snippy with everybody around you. <laughs> that is never that serious. Okay, if you're embarrassed, that's okay. But I'm gonna need you to talk about that afterwards. First of all, why are you getting embarrassed about spilling water on yourself? Sure. That's right there. But anyway, a nigga who takes himself too seriously. Mm -hmm. A nigga who takes himself too seriously. Girl, let out a fart or something, <laughs> like breathe. It is okay. It's never been that serious. It's never been that deep. <laughs> but you know what? Since we're talking about red flags, okay, what are some of your green flags? <sighs> this is green. Because I love um, consideration, obviously, like that's obviously the opposite of consideration on red flags. Um, I love consideration. I love somebody who checks up on you and like a mental point of view, like, oh, like, how are you doing mentally on a scale of one to ten? Never been used to getting some stuff like that. Like, I've never been used to being asked that, like, oh, like, you straight? You good? Yeah. Yeah, girl. I'm fine. But I feel like when somebody's asking that, they're truly, like, caring. But it's just, like, at a considerate point of view, like, I really just want to know, like, if it's not overstepping, like, 
how are you feeling? Like, what are you going through? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I eat that up. I eat up quality time. Like, like actually quality time. If you guys don't know, I feel like all my relationships have been long distance relationships. Like, at least, yeah. <laughs> People here are weird. <laughs> long story short. Yeah. But I feel like I've, I've always been in long distance relationships. So when you guys can both, like, match each other's schedule and match each other's time and, like, okay, like, let's plan this. So when I come out there, right, or you come over here, we can do so and so. That type of, like, What's the word? Consideration and like quality time mixed together. I eat up so bad. Like I eat up parasailing. I eat up wanting to go horseback riding. Mm-hmm. I eat up scuba diving. I eat up skydiving. Like going to a safari or, or, or going on a picnic or going on a boat ride or, or a hot air balloon. Like all those things. Like I eat up when it comes to like quality time because it allows me to really like. What's the word? Just build that bond with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like, like experience life with somebody. Heavy on ex- oh. Like it's not even like okay, we talking. That's so cute. Uh, you're telling your story, but it's like we're like making memories. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because we talking all day long. Like okay, like this different color. How's the relationship with your parents? Da da da. But it's like oh my god, like to be able to like have a memory. Like, oh my god, remember that one time just that we did da 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 da. Like that is like how you really build the connection. I eat up good morning text. I eat up good night text. Eat it up so bad. I eat up and I just want to hear your voice. Like, you, you good? Like, you chilling? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, huh? What'd you say, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, heavy on that. Because, yeah, like, like you said before, like, I hit a bitch that's, like, too persistent. Like, you text me 15 times today. Ask me what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. The same thing I was doing an hour ago, girl. Right? Please. <laughs> but, like, yeah. Like, if you, if, like, you go on your work break and you hit me up, I'm like, what do you want? He goes, like, yeah, like, I just wanted to, like, you know, hear your voice. Like, I got a little break. So I just wanted to talk to you real quick. <laughs> Stay away from my man, bitch. I'll cut you, bitch. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Oh, eat that down. Okay. A cute little like. Oh, like I was just thinking about you. I got like a 15 minute window, so I can't talk too long. But I just want to hear your voice. <laughs> I have to kick my feet. <laughs> so what you doing at work? And you know, yeah. How's the job going? <laughs> yeah. Like another green flag would definitely be like matching my energy. When it comes to like my sense of humor and mm. stuff like that, I feel like humor definitely always plays a huge role in me. So if you got a good humor, you can make me key key. Cause a lot of niggas aren't funny. A lot of you niggas are not funny. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. You niggas is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas is crazy. Yeah. You watch this video. You are you ain't funny. You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> the people in my life, they funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Another green flag is like, I love somebody who can dress. <laughs> like I can't be stepping. And you, you dress in like Jesse McCartney. You know what I mean? Like you dressed like Taylor Swift in 2007, and I'm over here looking, okay. like, you know, Tiana Taylor. They stepped out of the house like Adam Sandler. And his bitch. <laughs> they got all some gym shorts, a baggy t-shirt, some sneakers with some long socks. Okay. okay. And they going to dinner. You know okay. What I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, heavy on that. Okay, because one thing I want to say, like, <laughs> for me, because I act like I look at to defend myself a little bit. <laughs> I don't be stepping crazy with outfits. Like, I really don't, and that's okay. But when I know that like, I gotta go somewhere, I'm about to be out for real. Okay. Oh, best believe I'm gonna dress for the occasion. Okay. If you can't dress for the occasion, then we can't talk. We can't. Cause why are you wearing sweatpants everywhere? Why are you wearing sweatpants? Huh? We at SDK. <laughs> and you got this Nike tech suit on. Okay. <laughs> no. Can I, no, let's get into, let's get into how niggas dress out in Atlanta. I hate, the, no, because niggas idea of stepping in Atlanta is a blank white t-shirt. They said, well, this is new. A blank white t-shirt with a chain. <laughs> they got shoes and drawers that match because they're sagging. <laughs> And some tight ass jeans. And that's the idea of a fit. Or like maybe like a hat too. They might throw on that little fanny hat. That little fanny hat. That's, 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 that's it, okay? You got 15 uh, 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 shirts, white shirts, that look the exact same. That's so good. One. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Okay? You got 15 white shirts, they all look the same, but this is your good one. You just got this one from Target last week. And that's your idea of stepping. This is the good one. I like it. Good, okay? I got on this cute multicolored vest with these dress pants, and you pull up in a chain and a t-shirt. <laughs> you got this backwards cap on. You can... <sighs> this will be so cute for a cookout. This will be so cute for the park. You okay? <laughs> I, I got these cute little dress shoes on. You got these. <laughs> you got these Jordans. You got these Yeezy slides <laughs> on. Yeezy slides on. In the middle of this cheesecake factory. <laughs> At this point, let's just door dash, girl. Okay. <laughs> we can stay in the house, okay? We can go through the drive-thru. <laughs>
there was this one man that I went on a date with a couple summers ago, last summer, and we were just meeting for the first time. So, you know, I'm waiting, you know what I'm saying, sitting, looking around and stuff. And so I had already got the table. I had already got the table. And he comes like through the door, he, like, he texts me, he's like, oh, I'm here. I said, all right, bet. Okay. He had on this like cute little like lavender button up with a white shirt underneath, these cute little like pressed pants on. I was like, there's the tables right here. <laughs> I don't even give a fuck. No, really. <laughs> I was just saying, hey, yeah. This seat's right here. Ooh, girl, I was damn near barking in that restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey, nice to meet you. Because if you dress it down, oh yeah. Ooh. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What would your green flags be? My green flags are giving the opposite of what my red flags were. <laughs> so, uh, great communication skills. I feel like I'm way too much of a uh, communicator to talk to somebody that does not effectively, effectively communicate. Um, someone who's self-aware, but at their core, I want someone who is very like open to like, yeah, adventure. Have you an adventurous person? I need someone who does not take themselves too seriously. Um, I want someone who is willing to step outside of themselves. So like, again, understand me, um, as opposed to just looking at everything like based off of like, oh, well, like this is what's happening right now. You're getting on me about da 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 da, but like not looking deeper into what the actual like root of it is. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause I feel like someone who, and I feel like that's a, like, a really big thing when it comes to empathy and like self-awareness is just like not letting your emotions get in the way of like what is actually important. Mm -hmm. So like someone who can like separate their emotions from like what they need to do. Wait the Oh, <laughs> I eat that down. <laughs> it's not gonna be it. Only you knew. <laughs> How many times I had to record this video? <laughs> yeah, why, why don't you tell them? It's okay. This is part of the, the, the truth in being a content creator. Okay? Tell the people. Come on. My storage button, or my storage, has popped up at least five times while I was recording this video. So, um. But I did it. We did. I made it work. Okay? Well, and everybody, <laughs> listen. Show how much you appreciate Messiah Dixon for really pushing through. Because when I tell you that first clip, because <laughs> you'll see us like we were fucking the screw up. Food gone in the next clip because we were talking for a good like 40 50 minutes mm -hmm. just to realize that it only recorded 10 minutes of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see us where we got whole pieces of biscuits, <laughs> a whole wings. sandwich, and then it just cuts to <laughs> fork bent. Okay, cups empty, sandwich eaten <laughs> because we had to go. Okay, drinks <laughs> gone. <laughs> Listen, but like I just I just appreciate Masai for really sticking through it. And, 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 you know, really giving this content to y'all. You know what I mean? Because he's a, he's a hustler. All right. All right. He's been doing the damn thing, and I'm so proud of him. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching today's YouTube video. You know what? I might see you guys on Friday. It might be a little freaky. <laughs> <laughs> you just wouldn't get it. And you guys already know what I'm about to tell you guys. Make sure you guys... Uh, Smash that like button Boom. and make sure you guys click that subscribe button and I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. I'm taking the champagne. All you want is the same.